Welcome back, I'm MTG Joe, and today as we wait on the eve of War of the Spark, we're just going to keep uh, keep the grind to Mythic alive and uh, play some Mono Blue. Uh, so this is actually the deck I've had the most luck with in uh, what am I, Platinum rank, Platinum. So within the last day or so, I got from Platinum 4 to almost up to Diamond, we're basically two match wins away. Uh, playing a pretty stock mono blue list. Um, so the one change I made from a lot... So we're playing the build that only plays one Miscloak Herald. A couple more counters in the main in terms of spell peers. Uh, I've opted to go with Quench as opposed to uh, the creature counter essence capture in the main. Um, there's a lot of like Nexus decks, Reclamation decks, um, and Esper. So Quench is a more useful card I find in those matchups for early tempo plays. Whereas Essence Scatter is a lot is more often than not a dead card in a lot of those matchups. So just getting a bit more utility. Um, we're also playing one Entrancing Melody main and then a single Chart the Course. And in most games I actually side out the Chart the Course. I find it the least useful because I usually don't want to tap out onto um, playing more Flash Threats. In the sideboard... Uh, we have Blink of an Eye, uh, just to get rid of like a Resolved Fairy, a Wilderness Reclamation, basically anything that slips under our counters, but also to get rid of, like say, a, a large Hydroid Crisis or something, like a Blocker that's preventing us from lethal. Uh, one Disdainful Stroke is a catch-all for higher converted mana costs. A couple Essence Scatters that we usually switch the Quench for, a more creature-based, or even like the Spell Pierce. Uh, so some Fairy Duelists as well. Um, in the matchups that I end up uh, boarding in more counters, so usually against something like uh, Reclamation or Esper, where I want to hold up counters on my turn. If they don't do anything, then flash in like the Duelist. Um, and then it can screw up blocks as well. I've used it at times with like a Chain Whirler uh, to screw up the first strike damage to be able to kill it. A uh, couple of negates just as a catch-all. Uh, Surge Mirror against more of like the Mono White, Mono Red decks. Um, even Stompy or like uh, Gruel. Uh, it's just a wall that can attack in for some damage and does uh, some pretty good card selection if we have a Curious Obsession on it. Uh, two Deep Freeze as a way to like bring down Krasis or any difficult cards and then one more Entrancing Melody in the side. So we'll play a couple games in Ranked, see how it goes. Don't want to really try out anything too new right now because War is going to be dropping. Hoping to get to at least diamond before that. Um, be pretty sweet if we could. I've tried out pretty much everything from Mesper, Gruel, uh, Jeskai, which I usually like, and this has been the most successful. Alright, so let's keep this hand. So we're playing first, so I'll lead on the Pateramander. And then depending on what colors they show, it'll be indication. So they show red. So it's a little iffy with if we want to try. Like if they have the shock, it kind of hurts us. So I'm actually going to hold off and just attack in for one here. If it was something like green or something that couldn't normally deal with it, I just don't want to get two for one because then we don't really have a play. Okay, so they have Steamkin here. So I'm going to opt here to try to find a third land, and then we can Curious Obsession. Perfect. So I like using Trickster here as, as a way to catch the Steamkins. It, so they, they'll usually get a little aggressive at times, attacking with the Steamkin, we can flash it in. And then next turn, we can always drop a Tempest Dijin and just go on the aggro. The two toughness also gets around Chain Whirler on three. So they drop Viashino. That's fine. Let's see if they attack in here. Okay, so they dropped the Skewer, the Critics. So here I'm just gonna tap down the Steamkin. It buys us a turn where they can attack in. We'll just 
play out to Jin and pass the turn. No attacks here. So the trick is with the Jin, especially because we have Curious Obsession, that you're going to have to burn two spells to kill it. I'll just block with the Trickster here. Our life total is pretty high. Okay, so they blew two spells. It's kind of unfortunate that they had that there. Block there, just in case sometimes they misplay and then they pop it. Fortunately, pretty far behind in this matchup now. They'll probably attack in with just the, the Steamkin here. That's interesting. I'm going to take it. So they have the light up the stage. Opponents probably got this. They're going to get pretty far ahead. We have some pretty good answers out of the sideboard though, between like Deep Freeze and Trancing Melody. Uh, can they kill us next turn? So say a 3 spell, that's 7, 10, 13. I think... I'll just pass the turn here. If they tack in with a burn spell, we could Wizard's Retort. Try to catch them that way. Uh, it doesn't really help. If they're going really wide here. Mono Blue has an issue with going wide. If they're smart, they'd hold back the Firebrand if it prevents me from blocking the Chain Whirler. Okay, so the, they do that correctly. So we'll block like that. The first strike damage would have hit the Dijin and then they would have firebrand. Ay. Ay, ay, ay. Let's just dig here. Yeah. Too far behind on this one. So what do we want here? So blinks are good, essence captures are good, negates, surge mares. So I bring in pretty much all this and what do I take out? I take out the pateramanders and the miscloak because of chain whirler. They're too much of a liability. I usually will cut the charter course. And how much? Eight cards. Let's see. Usually like the melodies, the quench are pretty good, spell pierce is pretty good. I usually cut the ops because they don't do much in this matchup. And see it's interesting with dive down. I could probably get rid of the duelist. Blink's not bad because it gets rid of like the essence or probably no blinks. We'll see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Melodies, we'll get like chain whirlers or stuff. Probably no melodies. Play it like that. There's a case to play. Let's go down. A dive down and bring in a blink of the eye. Play it like that. The negates get rid of like the non-creature. Yeah, let's try it like that. Being on the play also helps. This matchup's kind of like 50-50. If we can get an early... Uh, we have Disruption. But we really don't bring a creature out to that. I still think we try it out. Hopefully they don't have a one drop. Okay, 
So they have the lava runner. Fast turn. So they're incentivized to try to play some spells this turn, but even if they like light up the stage, we could spell pierce it, which would be a pretty good tempo play. Okay. So here I actually like doing the surge mare while holding up spell pierce. Last turn. Okay, opponent goes to the face here. It's fine. It's fine. I want to try to catch them where they burn a, a spell there. War boss is really good. So this forces our hand to play the Dijin. That was actually really good. They have a steam can. Let's see if the opponent attacks in with the war boss here. Okay. No. Just with the two goblins. We'll block. Spell pierce that. And that burns a spell out of their hand. Quench is pretty good. So the decision here is, do we take a turn to obsession or do we try to hold them back? I think we try to hold them back. Like this we can pump Surge Mare and quench one of their plays perhaps. I want to try to draw another th creature. So act of treason, no thank you. Even though it's just a zero four. Let's see if they get a little greedy with the attacks. Okay, they do. That, kill the lava runner. Do the skewer. Okay, light up the stage. Okay, so they can kill our Dijin. It's actually a really good flip for them. Deep freeze is awesome here. Turn that off. Deals with the goblins. So they're going to attack with a Steamkin. We won't block this turn, the Steamkin. We'll block here. Because they have the shock. Duelist is really nice here. Last turn. Duelist is not a wizard. Uh, here brings us to four. Sure. Pretty far behind. Suit this up. Try to draw us 
something. Just to give it a toughness. At least this could deal some damage to the Steamkin to force him to not be able to pop it. Okay, so opponent attacks with both. We will block here. Awkward. Yeah, I think we have to. If they have another burn spell, then they win. They have a lightning strike? They don't. So, hopefully this lets us draw some more cards. Another v Surge Mare there is actually pretty good. Let's us block and block. Uh, Firebrand, I think we have to let them have it. Okay, so opponent doesn't attack. Get in for two. Might be able to stabilize. Hopefully draw something other than an island. Okay. This makes blocking a little better. I'm gonna hold the island at this point. Nope. Try again. Trickster is not the worst. If they try to go in for like attacks, we can trickster something. Like a counter spell if possible, because they're alive to any sort of. Okay, so we'll deep freeze here as well. No lightning strike, no lightning strike. Okay, lava runner's fine. I'm actually gonna let them attack here and then tap down the steamkin. Uh, so here. Just be mana efficient. We'll tap down steamkin. Okay, that's actually really good. Protect this protects us from a burn spell. Ooh, another obsession is nice. We'll hang on to the obsession for now. Put it on the fairy duelist. Draws us two cards. So there was a place where we could put the Curious Obsessions on like the Duelist, but giving it the one power shuts off like a lot of these small creatures from attacking in each turn. So it kind of holds back the opponent's attacks. Uh, need to try to draw a little better here. have drawn 6-8 of our 20 lands. And this is why I like Duelist, where we can like end step it, fake it up, and it's another flyer with two toughness. Perfect. It's just what we wanted. Bring out a land here, pass the turn. Uh, 
uh, here. I think we just shut him off this. It gives him two more draws, really. So here, just want another counter. We could present lethal next turn, so we need to dodge a turn. Uh, counter spell, please. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We should have this wrapped up. Counter whatever they do. Tempest is in to close it out. Surviving at three life against mono re mono bolts. Uh, we take your lightning and give you a retort. And that's just where the patience comes in. Against Mono Red, you want to stabilize, know what to counter. Light at the stage is something that is problematic. Uh, so against this matchup... I think we're okay with the configuration we're going with. Actually might... Bring this in instead of that. Do we want the entrancing melodies? I think we're okay like that. On the play, we need to be maybe more reactive, so let's go up an entrancing melody. The blinks are to like reset some of their creatures. Game one's usually a little tougher against mono red because we get a couple more tools. Uh, uh, this hand needs a land. Let's keep it. Let's try. Let's get punished. They have firebrand on one. Land. We have two draws for land. Perfect. We can hopefully catch the firebrand with a duelist. We can entrancing melody the steam can. We'll pass the turn here. Here we will quench, get rid of that. Just wanna hit lions now. Needed a land there, so we're gonna duelist, block the firebrand. And then, uh, so make that weaker. Block the firebrand here. See if they want to burn a burn spell. So they burn a burn spell here. It's probably more damage to the face. Kind of silly too. If they should have waited on that. So we're, we fell too far behind here. Mono Red had a good start there. So here we're probably going to have to take the four. Hopefully draw a land. Or dead to any burn spell. Can't really do much there. Light up the stage. Most likely we'll hit something. Ooh, okay, so maybe there's a chance. Nope, they have the firebrand. Opponent got it. So, as quick as we get up to Platinum, Tier 1, we fall back down. Mono Red's usually pretty tough. You usually want to play against some more kind of slower tempo -y. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to subscribe. And uh, stay tuned in the next couple days as we'll be releasing a bunch of War of the Spark decks and Limited. Thanks and have a great one.